Hi guys, welcome back. So as you can see, my Super Famicom console has arrived. I This is just mind blowing. I ordered this the end of last week, I think it was. The guy in Japan shipped this on Saturday. It's now Wednesday the 8th of October. He shipped it on the 4th of October and it arrived this morning. I mean, how fast is that? Three working days from Japan to the UK. Amazing service, absolutely brilliant. I only paid for standard shipping. I didn't pay for EMS as far as I'm aware. So yeah, very, very good. Uh, really nice seller as well, very helpful. Lots of emails, give me the tracking number, the, the uh, Japanese website updating me, the postal site updating me every day. Absolutely brilliant service. So yeah, it's just like this morning, I'm really happy with this. I've had a look at it. Haven't tested it yet, but I have had a look and it's in lovely condition, just like I expected it to be. So I'm gonna unbox this for you, and I'm sure most people have seen these before, but I'm starting my new collection, so I wanna start it in the right way by doing an unboxing. And it was also a request from Retro Dave, awesome guy that he is so <laughs> here we go so as you can see that's the box you get it does come in different colors all around the edge if you've never seen one so you do have the yellow you know the blue first obviously got the yellow all the colors of the super family come basically the green and then you have the red so it's just basically all the colors of the super family come logo which obviously you can see there and it's a really nice design i love this console i love this box so if we just take the top off there you go, so in the box you get the instruction manual, two controllers all bagged up, which is really nice. I didn't, I don't remember if it was bagged in the auction picture or not, I can't remember. So I'm quite happy with that, it's brilliant. So you've got the instruction manual, obviously not that important because it's in Japanese, can't read it. Um, <laughs> nice to look at the pictures there. And there she is, the beautiful Super Famicom console, in absolutely spanking condition. I've had a look at it, there's no marks on it or anything, it's absolutely crisp. So I'm very glad I bought this one. I wasn't sure which one I was going to get. It narrowed it down to three different systems that I found and I couldn't decide which one to go for. I'll show you the reason I picked this one then. So let's take it out of the bag. Okay, so there we go. So that's the console itself, if you've never seen one. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful design. I love the logo in the top right hand corner. It's pristine. If you just look at the pins, how clean they are, look at this. Hopefully that's going to come across well, but they are absolutely pristine, really nice condition. So I'll just show you all around it. And to the rear. Yeah, all looks absolutely great. Now the reason I picked this particular one up, if you hopefully it'll focus okay. If you see on the bottom right hand corner here, it's got SHFC hyphen JPN hyphen one. Now, from my understanding, and I've had one before, which was a loose console, which also had that marking. These are what are called one-chip consoles. Now, if you don't know about the one-chip Super Nintendo, I only found out about it last year myself, and I had an American one. In fact, I think I've had two so far American ones, and I've had one Japanese one, and it definitely does make a difference. The one-chip Super Nintendo, when you take the console apart, on the actual motherboard, it says one-chip on there, and these output the best RGB signal. They are absolutely fantastic. The difference in quality, phenomenal. There's plenty of videos on YouTube showing the difference and you really should check them out because it's quite impressive actually. The colours are a lot more vivid and it just looks a lot brighter, a lot sharper on your CRT. So I'm going to take this one apart later on. Just check it, make sure it is a one chip. Pretty certain it is because usually the ones with that marking on the bottom are the ones that are one chip. So that's what you need to look for when buying a, a Super Famicom if you want a one chip model. The normal models, the RGB is absolutely fine, it's just a little bit darker. So the one chip is a really nice thing to go for, and it's a bit of an oddity as well. One of those kind of collector things, I suppose. But yeah, overall, console in absolutely superb condition. As you can see, the controllers as well, crisp as anything. I mean, you buy stuff in Japan, you get quality. It's as simple as that. The Japanese really do take care of their equipment, and it's amazing that something this old is in such good condition after all these years. So I'm really happy to have this. The games are coming, I'm just waiting for them to arrive. I have a couple already, there's a lot of them in the post, so I will be doing pickup videos over time and I've got a few more games. I'll put another video together for pickups and I'll just do multiple pickup videos as they come in. So, brilliant stuff guys, I'm really looking forward to getting stuck into the Super Famicom again and restarting the whole Super Nintendo <laughs> collection from scratch. <laughs> Exciting times. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, just click on subscribe. That'll keep you up to date with all my latest videos. 
And please leave a comments down below. Let me know what you think of the Super Famicom. Which is your favourite style of Super Nintendo? You know, do you prefer the Super Famicom, the American Super Nintendo, or do you prefer the PAL Super Nintendo? Uh, yeah, thanks guys. See you all again soon.